Welcome back my dear student teachers for the course Knowledge and Curriculum. We are dealing in the third unit Curriculum Development in Education and we are now in the fifth module Competencies in Curriculum Development. This is Dr. V. Girija, Professor and Head for the Department of School of Education, Ways Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai. Let us look into the strategies of curriculum development. Implementing the strategies listed below collectively contributes to the creation of a robust learner-centered curriculum that addresses the needs of students, educators and the broader educational community. Need analysis has to be made. Conduct thorough need assessments to identify gaps, challenges and requirements. Considering input from educators, students, parents and industry stakeholders. Clear learning objectives, defining specific, measurable and achievable learning objectives. Ensuring alignment with educational standards and goals. Sequential scope and sequence. Develop a logical and sequential flow of the topics to build upon the foundational knowledge progressively. Differentiated instruction. Recognize diverse learner needs. Providing varied instruction methods and materials to accommodate different learning styles and abilities. Another important strategy that has to be looked into while developing the uh, curriculum is incorporating real world applications. These are the strategies that have to be looked into while developing the curriculum. Relate the curriculum content to real life situations and emphasize practical applications to enhance relevance and engagement. The technology integration, which is where the most pivotal part in any curriculum uh, uh, development. Integrate technological tools that enhance learning experiences, ensure accessibility and provide training for both educators and students, and assessment of strategies like designing a balanced assessment system that is formative and summative. Align assign, aligning assign assessments with the learning objectives and offer diverse evaluation methods and feedback mechanisms, establish regular feedback loops for continuous improvement and solicit feedback from uh, educators, students and stakeholders. Looking into the professional development, providing ongoing training for educators to implement the curriculum effectively, address emerging trends and educational advancements. Community involvement. Engage parents, community members and industrial professionals. Foster partnership to enrich learning experiences and offer real-world insights. Cultural sensitivity. Ensure curriculum materials are culturally sensitive and inclusive. Reflect the diversity of the student population. Flexibility and adaptability. Design a flexible curriculum that can adapt to changing education needs. Allow for adjustments based on ongoing assessment and feedback. Interdisciplinary approaches encourage connections between different subject areas. Foster interdisciplinary projects and collaborative learning experiences. Resource management. Evaluate and allocate resources effectively and considering the availability of textbooks, technologies and other educational tools. And sustainability, looking into the sustainability, developing a curriculum that can endure over time. Plan for updates and revisions to take place with educational advancements. These are the competencies where the curriculum de developers has to imbibe while developing the curriculum. Align with the education policies, another uh, important uh, criteria or the competencies that the curriculum developers must um, imbibe among them. Ensuring the curriculum complies with local, regional and national educational policies and standards and staying informed about any policy changes that may impact the curriculum design. And the competencies that are essential for effective communicative uh, curriculum development are the subject matter expertise, pedagogical knowledge, assessment and evaluation skills and understanding of te educational technology. With regard to subject matter expertise, the curriculum developers must possess in-depth knowledge of the subject area being taught and they must stay updated on advancements and changes within the field. The curriculum developers must have pedagogical knowledge. They should understand the various teaching and learning theories 
and apply effective instructional strategies to diverse learning styles. They should also assess and evaluate skills while designing the assessments aligned with the learning objectives and analyze and interpret assessment data to inform instructional decisions. Understanding of educational technology. Integrating technological tools that enhance teaching and learning and navigating digital resources and platforms effectively is the most uh, important competencies that are essential for effective curriculum development. Obviously, they love to do uh, need analysis, clear communication skills, collaboration and teamwork, adaptability, data-driven decision-making, all these things have to be given much care while developing the curriculum. On uh, looking into the need analysis, the uh, curriculum developers must look into or conduct a thorough needs and assessments to identify the educational gaps. They must analyze the data to inform curriculum design and development. They must communicate complex concepts clearly to diverse audiences. Foster open communication with stakeholders, including educators and parents. And while uh, into the concept of co collaboration and teamwork, they must be in a position to work effectively with other educators, administrators and professionals. And they must seek input and feedback from diverse perspectives. And adaptability. Embrace flexibility to, adopt, to accommodate changing educational needs and adjust curriculum based on feedback and emerging trends. Then the data driven decision making. They must be in a position to use the data to make informed decisions about the curriculum adjustments. And they must monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of instructional strategy. And they must not forget the cultural competencies and the problem solving skills, leadership abilities, project management and research skills which are the most important competencies that are uh, important for any uh, curriculum developers. With regard to cultural competence, acknowledge they must acknowledge and respect cultural diversity and they must ensure curriculum materials which are inclusive and culturally sensitive. On looking into problem solving skills, they must be address the challenges and obstacles in curriculum development and they must propose innovative solutions to improve educational outcomes. And they must have leadership abilities like providing guidance and direction to your curriculum development team. And they must inspire and motivate educators to implement the curriculum effectively. Project management skill is very important for any curriculum developers because they have to organize and coordinate tasks within specified timelines. Allocate resources efficiently for successful curriculum development. Research skills. They must stay informed about the educational research and best practices and incorporate all those evidence-based strategies into curriculum design. Policy awareness, understand and adhering to educational policies and standards, professional development where they must pursue continuous learning and professional growth. They must attend workshops, conferences and training sessions relevant to curriculum development and they must look into the innovation and creativity in whatever they develop foster creativity in curriculum designing to engage learners and they must integrate innovative teaching methods and activities. Ethical considerations and upholding ethical standards in curriculum development and prioritizing the well-being and equity of students is the, is the most important competencies which any curriculum developer, developer must possess. By embodying these MPA competencies, Curriculum developers can create comprehensive and effective educational programs that meet the diverse needs of students and contribute to positive learning outcomes. Let us look into the, their leadership and decision making capabilities. They must be capable enough to lead curriculum development teams, sound decision making in curriculum choices and continuous improvement like commitment to the ongoing self-reflection of professional development willingness to revise and enhance curriculum based on feedback and these competencies collectively contribute to the creation of a well-rounded and effective curriculum that meets the needs of both educators and learners. Thank you one and all.